Now with that part done, we're going to move to installing the pedal itself. So the first thing we want to do is remove these existing bolts from the uh, mower itself. We're going to utilize those same set of bolts to put the mount for the uh, pedal on. So I've got the uh, nuts removed off that. Before we install this mount, we want to make sure we get the bolts for the pedal into it because we won't be able to do it once the mount is put on the mower deck. So using the 5 16 carriage bolts provided, 5 16 by 1 inch, we'll go ahead and insert those from the inside of the angle toward the back. Then we'll slip the bolts that are connected to the mower. We'll pull those out and put them back in and go ahead and run the nuts down and tighten those up. Once these are secure, then we're ready to go ahead and install the pedal. So the first thing we're going to do is slip the pedal onto the bolts there and then put the lower nut on. And we're going to go ahead and run that in mostly all the way, um, leave it a little bit loose. This will hold the pedal in roughly the position we want it by installing the top nut. This nut is a little bit tricky to get to. It's just tight quarters in there. I found the easiest way is coming up from the bottom. Once you get it started, then I found that you can use a short half inch socket with a short extension. Uh, you can get that installed by taking it off the wrench and then hooking it back to the wrench and go ahead and run this on in. We'll go ahead and secure the bottom bolt. Now we're ready to go ahead and run the cable. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the belt access cover. And we're going to go ahead and route our cable. When we do this, we want to slip it under the crossover bar for the deck lift assist and then run it back between the battery box mount and then back along the, the uh, side of the mower there. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the pedal end first. There's what it looks like routed back between the controls. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the rubber boot, then spin jam nut number one off, take jam nut number two and run it all the way on to the fitting and then bring it off maybe a half a turn slip the cable into the slot, the fitting into the hole, and then put the jam nut number one back on. Then go ahead and put the rubber boot in place. Now we're ready to go ahead and connect the uh, cable to the pedal itself using the clevis. We'll slip the clevis onto the end of the wire. We'll put the pin in for the clevis, having the head on the slotted side. And we'll go ahead and run up or cutter pin in. I found the easiest way is to grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and then spread the cutter pin itself and both legs back 